First, we were told that Beyonce was going to perform at a Kamala Harris rally in Houston, Texas. Some 30,000 people showed up. Some huge number of people showed up. And Beyonce came out to the stage and said four minutes of words and left. (laughs) There was no performance, but they did get a performance from the 91-year-old Willie Nelson, which I believe we call a bait and switch. And also we call bad politics. Andrew, if you were advising Team Harris, would you? how would you like to explain that to the 30,000 people there, ready to see, well, as Victor Davis Hansen calls her, Beyonce? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm a huge Willie Nelson fan, so I will say I would have been happy. <laughs> You're the one. <laughs> and I think that there are probably people in Texas who agree with me. Uh, I actually saw Willie Nelson play a little while ago, and I brought my two daughters with me to that concert because I said, you have to see this you will tell your children you saw Willie Nelson. He's an American icon, and um, uh, I'm, 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 I, I would I would rather see him than Beyonce any day of the week. That's your personal. heroes have always been cowboys. Exactly. <laughs> Having said that, um, I'm probably not the target demo, and um, I think not. Yeah, I think big mistake, um, and uh, and an odd one because you would think that I've I've been struck by this all along. I've, I've said this on on our show, you know. They have all of Hollywood behind them. They've got the best comedians, the best writers um, in, in, in the world working for Kamala Harris right now. And she doesn't seem to be able to perform at the level you would think. I'm thinking back to the, um, the dinner, the Catholic dinner with the, um, with the Al sort Smith. of Al Smith. terrible. Al, yeah, the Al Smith dinner was just terrible. Um, this was the same thing. I mean, whoever said, let's have Beyonce come up and talk for three and a half minutes and, and leave – you know, again, political malpractice. Now, maybe not uh, at the same level as what we saw uh, on Sunday from the Republicans, but a um, lot of lot of mistakes on both sides right now, I think. And they put maybe out they beforehand the that she thing. was going to perform. It was all over yeah. MSNBC the that Beyonce Chicago. was going to perform. But, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but remember they did this in Chicago. She, The rumor went out she was going to, they filled up the place. The, it was hard, the lines were the security was wild. The rumors swept the hall. Beyonce is going to speak, uh, going to sing here, and she's going to, you know, endorse Kamala and sing. And then she didn't even show up at all. So at least they mm-hmm. got her to the venue this time. They're making progress. Maybe, you know, I don't know. After Trump's inaugurated, they'll get her to sing or something. <laughs> She'll actually they finally have, sing. They did have no, Stevie like, Wonder, which was pretty good, though. Uh, I mean, okay, you can't go by Stevie Wonder's endorsement because. <laughs> yeah, for all sorts of reasons. Um, I was going to make a joke, but I decided not to because this is not, oh not a day for good news. <laughs> okay. Um, by the way, w- when we're all in person, I'm going to tell you my funniest joke in the world, and it is about Willie Nelson, and you will be both offended and laugh. Um, <laughs> so uh, Kamala Harris mm-hmm. is fake news. She does not have Beyonce perform at the DNC. She does not have her perform in, in Houston. She's fake news. And now she has debuted yet another fake news accent. This one appears to be her pastor accent, and it's amazing. It might be my favorite one yet. She was at the Church of Christian Compassion in Philadelphia, and uh, right in Philadelphia, check it out. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. The path may seem hard, the work may seem heavy, but joy cometh in the morning and church morning is on its way. <laughs> Tom, come on. Have you ever seen someone so phony? Look, and this is part of the problem of the campaign. And, and this was the interesting contrast, you know, with uh, that really became apparent uh, over the last couple of weeks. You know, Trump's just Trump. Right. He wears his red tie. Even when he's serving burgers at McDonald's, he goes to wherever he is. He talks the same way. He doesn't put on any airs of of trying to be somebody other than he is. Right. Meanwhile, Kamala Harris puts on all sorts of airs wherever she goes to whomever she's speaking to try and ingratiate herself. I guess this is the idea. And, but it comes off as inauthentic. It comes off as phony. And and she gets made fun of for it. And, and voters know 
when politicians are authentic and when they are not. And, and usually they choose authenticity uh, when they're in the voting booth. But again, they didn't get a chance to choose, at least on the Democratic side this time around. So this is what they've got. Um, but she continues to do this and, and it, you know, one time it happens, not a big deal. Second, third, fourth, fifth time, 10th time, whatever we're on now, it, it does become a problem and it, and it is something that she, uh, I think is struggling with, with voters. I'm going to need to hear that again. Can we, can we hear it one more time? <laughs> Weeping may endure for a night, but joy what? cometh in the morning. The path <laughs> may seem hard. The work may seem heavy, but joy cometh in the morning and church morning is on its way. (laughs) I'm sorry, but that's amazing. That's my favorite clip of the day. Um, She's done many accents, as you know, that is just one of many. I guess we'll we'll meet. We've had what, like... uh, like the Jamaican, her dad was Jamaican. We had, we had Jamaican Kamala. We had uh, like the more sort of urban Kamala. Well, I, we we have a montage of it. Let's let's take a walk down memory lane, and by that I mean over the past two months. Have you no empathy, man? Yes. You know, <laughs> I, for the the suffering of other people, have you, you know? no sense of purpose? You better thank a union member for sick leave. You better thank a union member for paid leave. You better thank a union member for vacation time. Um, I love you back. We're going to beat him in November. (laughs) We're going to beat him in November. We'll beat him in November. And you all helped us win in 2020, and we're going to do it again in 2024. (laughs) Hello to all my divine nine brothers and sisters. And my sorrow. <laughs> and to all my HBCU brothers and sisters. <laughs> oh, I got to be honest. It crossed over from like, I was really enjoying it to I'm really worried about us. Like we, this can't happen. I know. <laughs> my, my favorite was Jamaican Kamala because it was so out of context. I mean, she's on with Stephen Colbert. It's not like she was, it's not like she was talking to, you know, all these other ones. She's in front of a group. She's in front of, you know, union workers in Detroit or whatever. And then she's there with Stephen Colbert and breaks out the, have you no empathy, man? You know? (laughs) Here's another one I got to show you. Maybe you've seen it, but she had some weird cringy beer sit down with Gretchen Whitmer in Michigan, in Kalamazoo. And they, so they go to this bar and they're on camera. And for some reason they chose to pretend that they didn't know microphones were there. It's like, oh gee, what are these enormous cameras doing behind us? And these big mics right in front of us, whatever could be happening here and tried to play it off. Like they were just having girl talk, you know, private time until it was like the big reveal of, oh, microphones, watch. I'm having what she's having. Okay. <laughs> it's an Oberon, and it's made right here in Kalamazoo, which many are calling Kamala Zoo. Yeah. Cheers. Okay, cheers. 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 Great rally. Um, Good. Oh, we have microphones. In. Oh, it's listening Hi. to everything. Oh, I didn't realize that. <laughs> okay. So, uh, well, You'll now you tell my F words. We just told all the family secrets. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's good to see you. Okay. Just even on that shot, look across mm-hmm. the bar. You can see all the photogs with their 35 millimeter cameras. All the lenses trained on them. I'm like, the notion that they didn't think there were microphones that they were being recorded is absurd. It's a lie, Carl. Like so much of her, she's a lie. Megan, I think she's a method actor. You may be selling her short. I think she got into the role and then she forgot the cameras were there. Oh. And she's just in the moment. I mean, if she had at least chugged that beer, I could have said maybe she was drunk, but she took the tiniest little sip ever because she's not a beer drinker. I I can't Mm. handle the fakeness. I really can't. And because the reason is, be one thing if she were fake, but 
she could be president. And we, you can't be dumb and be president. You can't be empty. You can't be soulless. You can't be undefined. You can't be unaccomplished in terms of actual legislation you've pushed through or pushed through or goals that you've accomplished. Yes, she's won higher office time and time again. But the achievement of those political victories appear to be the sum total of what Kamala Harris has done. So it's as much as I love to laugh, as I love about to laugh about pretty much anything, Andrew, I really am more scared. I like I'm concerned about us. Well, I think, you know, just in terms of these media events, it, it the the beer drinking struck me as sort of the inverse of the of the McDonald's thing, where the left went crazy because they were saying the McDonald's thing was staged, um, as if as if it wasn't staged, as if anybody right. you know didn't know that. And then this is where it's like, oh, she's pretending like it wasn't staged, and so it's very meta in a way. And it's um, true. as you know. As, as you're trying to sort of consume the media that's out there, it's hard to sort of keep up with, with what you're supposed to be thinking. I do think on the accents, um, you know, they, they call it style switching or code switching. It's, it's African Americans talk differently to different audiences. Obama did it. Other people did it. I have to say, um, I've seen politicians in Massachusetts, um, dial their Boston accent up and down, depending on whether they're in Dorchester or whether they're um, speaking, you know, to a Harvard audience. So people do this. Um, I think, again, to, going back to what I was said earlier, she, the problem with Kamala Harris has, I think, is that this is all we know about her is what we're learning about her in this sort of 11, 12, 13 weeks since she um, got the nomination. So that there's no sort of backstory. There's no sort of foundation on which to put this and go, oh, yeah, she did that. But remember when she did this five years ago or two years ago or six years ago? Whereas with Trump, you have this, you know, he's just been in the national consciousness for eight years. So it's hard to change anybody's mind about him. This year, supply chain issues have been more prevalent than ever, whether it's the result of natural disasters like Hurricane Helene and Hurricane Milton, global conflict or inflation, the impacts are being felt everywhere. While they sometimes are a minor inconvenience, delays in accessing essential med medications can become catastrophic. The U.S. relies on overseas sources for more than 80% of its generic medications. So what happens when there are delays? Or what if supplies are cut off? How will you care for your loved ones and yourself? The Jace case offers peace of mind for you and your family in the face of delays, shortages, and disasters. This is an emergency medication kit containing five life-saving antibiotics that treat the most common and deadly bacterial infections. Simply complete a quick online evaluation to ensure you're prepared. The Jace case can also be customized with add-ons like ivermectin, uh, ivermectin, e EpiPens, and more. Don't wait. Consider preparing right now. Receive a discount on your Jace case by visiting Jace, J-A-S-E dot com and entering promo code MK at checkout. That's promo code MK at J-A-S-E dot com, ensuring you have the right medications exactly when you need them. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.